Good evening and welcome to Shark Theater. Now, just shake my head. So today I have uh, I'm showing just part of an interview with Pamela McCall. Uh, she said anti-cannabis, anti-marijuana activist, basically. This is just part of the video. This is a couple highlights. The show's really long, so a lot of you might have missed it, <clears throat> even if you watched a bit of it. So. Support these guys, show up there, watch their channel, and uh, here's just a couple highlights for you to look at. Dion's gonna be down there. It's my favorite noise. Pam Hello, Pamela. Hi, Pamela. Monty Styles from the Marijuana Report here in Springfield, Illinois. How are you tonight? I'm fine, thank you. Welcome to our drug abuse conference. How are you? I'm great. Excellent. Nice to be with you. If we were just having a conversation. If you had one message to say to young people who are smoking marijuana right now, what would you say? You no, know, what one does temporarily could have, you know, long-term consequences. And, and I think that when you give kids the solid science and the facts about this, they do make good decisions about their life. Well, like a lot of young kids now, they listen, you know, the Snoop Dogg and some of those other hip-hop guys promote marijuana. And the trailer park boys, they're all about the marijuana. 5,000 young people went to that marijuana rally on April 20th in Vancouver. It was awful. Like, how do you, like, how are we going to fight this? Well, you know, I think we have to go after the industry, number one. Um, we have to show them up for what they are. A lot of parents um, really have been, you know, hoodwinked or conned into believing that uh, kids will do it anyway. You know, there's nothing we can do. We might as well just make it as safe as possible. A lot of people just think it's medicine and it's such a dangerous drug and it has led to this legalization. I mean, first they allowed medical marijuana and now it's legalization talk. And do you think that the medical is just a big scam? Well, I think that um, it was a planned scam. I don't think it was just randomly. I think that it was um, definitely orchestrated by the pot lobby starting in the 1990s, and it, they were given their directive, if you want money from, from the, from the millionaire, Billionaires Club, actually, if you want our money to support us, to support you and your efforts, we want to see you, you know, do something such as, you know, come up with the campaign of marijuana is a medicine, and we'll go from there, and we'll use that as the as the Trojan horse towards full legalization. And, and what's the really damaging about being so partisan is that it's muffled everybody. You know, you've got Justin Trudeau talking about, you know, legalizing pot. Well, nobody's going to speak up right now because we're heading into election within a couple of weeks because they don't want to look like they're partisan. And I've been accused of being a cult. I've been accused of being a Republican. I've, I mean, I've, I'm accused of everything these days. I am a nonpartisan person who happens to have a position on a drug policy that is supported by the U.S. federal government and the Canadian federal government and the government of Sweden. So it doesn't make me a communist or a socialist or a conservative. It just makes me somebody who's oh, keen on drug communists. policy. Right? NDP, New Democrats. Hate them. Matt Tom Mulcair. <laughs> Matt Tom Mulcair. Very dangerous man. The Winnipeg Compassion Club that got raided and you've been behind all that. You, you were like, you called and um, filed complaints with the Winnipeg police. I did, but you know, I, I don't know what they were working on before I made the phone call. They probably had their own plans. I, I wouldn't take credit for that completely. I, um, I, I, I think that they were onto it. I mean, I'm quite sure they were. And I hope that they do um, charge, charge the operator and the landlord and uh, the doctor, who we're all working on right now to find out who that doctor is. Pam. Who are you? Who are you? You're calling the Myrna Wana Zone. The next time you rat out a compassion club, we are going to call you every time on my webcast. <laughs> you, lady, are dangerous, and I thank you. I have been working for 10 years to legalize marijuana. I have been fighting five years in the court. I have brilliantly, as you said, marketed legalization in this country. I have got 10,000 people marching in the city of Toronto and we think that you are crazy. We have listened to you enough. 
We are tired of your antics, and if you want to pick on someone, Pam, you come and you pick on me, because now we listen to what she is on her high horse. Well, here, I am on my high horse, and I will go on any program Pam McCall is on. Yeah, you can find You've put number. this fight with the Myrna Wanna Zones picking it with you.